Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are gonna finish miscellaneous image transformations module and we are gonna pass on to the new module in the next video. And uh, the last uh, function of our this module is fluid fill, which is the function I really like uh, because this is uh, very useful to use and uh, they this function has many advantages uh, in the applications and in the projects. So what this function basically do? Uh, by the way, this is an overloaded function. Uh, with uh, it's separated with each other with the mask. Uh, we will talk about this in the code part. So what this function does, as you can understand from the name, it's fluid. So uh, it's fluiding uh, the to the image according to the some parameters we are giving. Uh, you can uh, imagine like uh, you are choosing a point inside the image and you are uh, pouring the water from that point and that water spreading to the image accordingly then uh, I'm what I mean spreading wherever water goes the pixel values changing accordingly and in here uh, it's taking uh, one or three channel I mean si a single channel great gray image or colorized image it can be so and mask we also we are gonna talk about this in the code part more better more clearly and uh, this is starting point which I uh, made an imagination before about flooding and the others also better we directly pass on to do code part and more understanding this uh, function okay first of all uh, from you may remember from the previous videos our image which is apple and orange and let's continue with this one I am choosing a point let's say this point uh, this one let's say one of these uh, pixel values I will choose let's call the call the function simply first of all fluid fill uh, this is by the way in here I'm making a uh, copy copy the source image because I will use this as the input of fluid field why I'm doing this uh, because in here as you can see it's taking the image as input and the output also changing the same image so I don't want the my source image I don't want the source image change because of uh, I want to show it at the end so that's why for I'm defining here as a as a destination so I'm copying the input image so in here I will use destination because I don't want my source image to change this is important and uh, there are also one more case about this I need to talk uh, but later first of all I'm copying that and also I'm using clone this is a hint maybe you need to know uh, where, wherever you want to copy and uh, mat, mat image to do another one I suggest you to use clone uh, you can ask why uh, maybe I can explain this in other videos more clearly but I just suggest clone maybe for example for this uh, simple function there is no problem but when the your projects getting longer and more complicated you maybe you when you get a uh, biggest error you can understand why I'm using clone uh, so just simply I'm suggesting you to use clone if you want to copy an image okay first of all let's give input destination then give the what's the second one why not showing to me second one seed point which is starting point uh, starting point let's say 100 to 100 and a new value I wanna change which water pouring which are the water is spreading I want to make that pixel values as let's say 125 and this is the simplest uh, way to use this function and let's see the result yeah as you can see our input input image changed as this one what happening in here actually I choose a point from here 100 to 100 
and most probably this uh, pixel value is 255 you can check from the left and the left corner of this image you can check the pixel values it's most probably one uh, 255 and as I said uh, you can imagine I'm pouring the water from this point and the water is spreading around according to the if the pixel neighbor is equal to the 255 for example in here it stopped it's not continuing this way because this is not equal to 255 this function simplest way works like this let's continue with the other image for example let's continue with Ellen image and start from let's say this one okay you can see no difference here but uh, in here there is a difference if you can zoom to the 533 to 533 you can see what's happening in there okay these points as you can see i choose this point as a starting point and uh, the neighbor uh, until is equal to the same is the water this fluid field will change the pixel values accordingly as you can see in the output okay this is the simplest way let's make it little complicated and the most complicated part is with the overloaded second function which is this one in here uh, I also need to define some more parameters as let's say um, mask and also I need to define a rectangle to give as input to the function and okay then let's continue we need to give mask extra after this then okay seed point same new value same then we need to give rectangle as address then give a rectangle we will talk what they are doing and this is scalar and scalar um, okay first of all maybe it's better to compare with the previous function so better not delete that at all uh, scalar low, scalar up, and let's say like this scalar down, let's say zero, and scalar up, let's say 50, and flex. The most important part flex also here, fluid field flex, what they are doing. There are two flex, we will also learn about it. That's first of all define this one okay and yeah like this maybe do, to compare more easily I um, will use an image which is this image this is an output of drawing function I don't know the input image but you can also get in some project this kind of output so I will use this output as input to the fluid field uh, that's name is contours. I already downloaded that image. First of all, let's see the, the previous uh, image output. Okay. Uh, for example, in your applications, in your projects, uh, after an some process, you can get this kind of things, and maybe you wanna. Uh, use fluid field for some purposes this kind of then uh, after you define a starting point you can get this output but what's the problem with this one is if you zoom some of the pixels not change because they are not zero bec uh, since uh, the starting point zero uh, is not changing the pixel because of they are not equal to zero but almost close so also you wanna these points to fill with uh, with the this index value also how you can do that you can achieve that with the little complicated of the fluid field and 
for example with this one yeah destination mask is uh, nothing but just uh, holding the values which you are directly showing in here holding the values of destination with with a with some uh, with some parameters what are those yeah, it's just filling R set to one to the value specified in length as described below. Uh, so the water part, which is fluted part, uh, this mask is assigning some values, and the other part assigning different values. So just uh, the destination, which is shown, uh, is holding the values inside. Nothing else. Uh, keep in mind. Just we will talk again. The point starting point. Okay. Uh, let's compare with the contour. So make it fifty again. This is scala again same. Rectangle is the after the flute done. It's giving you the, the rectangle point, which is the uh, starting of the rectangle and width and height. And you can this is the biggest rectangle, the uh, how to say minimum rectangle the road after flute done, which is uh, including the all of the flute pixels inside this rectangle in some cases maybe you need so this function also gives this rectangle to you easily and this is the lower color which is you want to flute uh, this uh, comparing to the started point of course but uh, the started point if uh, should be the for example if uh, this is the limit I can say the minimum value of the pixel and the maximum value of the pixel you are assigning here so if uh, between these two values your pixels the flute will continue uh, okay after the result we will understand more clearly what this fixed range means let's read from the documentation if set the difference between the current pixel and the seed pixel is considered otherwise the difference between neighbor pixels is considered uh, okay if you set this function the difference between the current pixel and seed pixel is considered In, for example if you uh, want to use mask I can say is if set the function does not change the image new value is ignored basically I can say this one okay this is the first one if you use this what happens let's see in the result uh, simply before we see some black pixels here and it disappears now so basically this function uh, does this one and also if you give this one as input image this the our input image will be changed anymore you see here so the output different because we clone so input image changed but if you don't wanna input image change I'm giving again this just change the flag with the mask this one and see the result yeah what you see in here both is same why because it the function didn't change the input because uh, anymore because of the this flex so uh, so you don't need this also anymore you just wanna continue to your process in the next lines in the next steps but you don't want to uh, change this input also uh, if you use the other type you don't wanna maybe some space in your memory you can use this mask but where are the results results in here this is the function what it does and the flex difference is also uh, this one yeah I think I'm very clear in this video and I did my best to explain what this fluid field function does and this is uh, in the beginning of video I said I really like this function this is very useful uh, you can imagine what you can do with this function and it, uh, the fluid field function we are finishing the miscellaneous image transformation module so in the next video we are gonna pass on to the next module and I think for this video I'm done see you in the next videos